Do your muscles have to be big to be strong? Or can you also be strong with small muscles? Building muscle versus building strength. What's the difference? I want to have both. Are big muscles just for show? Building muscle has the added benefit of making us stronger. Or so we've been told. A dude with the biggest muscles should be able to lift the biggest weight. If I would bet my life on who's the strongest, I would bet on the most muscular guy? Same. There are bodybuilders that are massive and people are like, bodybuilders don't train for strength. They are insanely strong. Like these big bodybuilders, they are, it's crazy. But does that mean that you can be strong and small at the same time? More muscle generally means more strength. Especially beginners, it's a guarantee that you will get stronger and bigger once you start lifting. Exactly. People that never worked out or did any physical activity will be relatively weak. If you start using your muscles, it will be hard to stay the same size that you are right now, especially as a beginner. You will probably build muscle. It is possible to train specifically for one. Doing so would indeed improve one more than the other due to some physiological differences. What How does this difference? work? Let's dig a bit into strength adaptations. As all of us know, starting any new physical skill isn't easy and we often exert much more effort and energy to start out. You will just become more efficient and you will just get better technique, know what to do. A lot of people that play the piano, they don't even have to think about the song and because they've played a million times, they just played from muscle memory. There are also neuromuscular strength adaptations like increasing motor unit recruitments and rate coding, or the ability and rates in which your nervous system signal your muscles to voluntarily contract. I always think of this, the bigger the muscle, the more employees you have, if you would have a company, for example. But the neurological adaptations and all the other stuff is like how effective are the employees? How good is your organization of the whole structure? There might be a biomechanical advantage based on your body structure, which influences Genetics. things like moment arms and levers that can impact the amount of force applied on any given boat. That was very short. With biomechanics, he's talking about genetics as well. So uh, from your birth, how strong can you actually possibly be? And how strong are you right now, right when you got yeeted out of the womb? Um, and how did you grow up? Like what, with like stuff like that, but also physics. Yes. Because if your arms are longer, your range of motion is less. So you have to have less effort for a very heavy deadlift. Now about muscle growth. Another hypertrophy concept exists, however, that supposedly benefit muscle size more so than strength. This is called sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. I was about to say, if you show your body that you need stronger muscle fibers and they're building inside your body, that means you're building muscle. That's why building strength and building muscle are so related. Now, we don't exactly know how sarcoplasmic hypertrophy works, and much of the current literature is quite convoluted. But in short, specific training might, but not for sure, increase sarcoplasmic hypertrophy and specific changes to the fiber itself, like fiber diameter, thickness, and energy preference, which could impact muscle size relative to strength. Energy preference? Because of this, this type of training, like more pump style, your muscles might favor a different type of energy. It would cause your muscles to be bigger, but not specifically a lot stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, makes, makes sense. Who else is like me and wants strength and not too much muscle? I want to have both. Uh, yes. But the one thing that is much more certain is which training method suits which goal best. For muscle growth, undoubtedly the biggest training focus will be total work volume. In the most basic sense, total work volume is the amount of sets times the amount of reps times intensity, or the amount of weight you lift. The goal would be to accumulate as much volume as you reasonably can. As you reasonably can. And recover from. Yeah, That's and, very important to mention as well. well. Typically, bodybuilders shoot for 3 to 5 sets of 8 to 12 reps with a moderate intensity since it's kind of the sweet spot for accumulating volume at a relatively short amount of time. However, studies have shown that doing as many as 100 reps per set or even just 2 to 5 reps per set can indeed achieve similar muscle gains as long as total volume was the same. <laughs> Imagine doing 100 reps. It's mentally so tough to get through 100 reps. This channel makes my brain hypertrophic. <laughs> He's just talking about brain gains. Yeah. By far the most important piece of the strength puzzle outside of practice is simply intensity. In the same studies showing 100 reps achieving similar muscle growth as 5 rep sets, the researchers also found that, in the case of strength, the lower rep group, which worked with much higher intensities, achieved by far the highest strength gain. Also because strength is measured by doing low reps. Yeah, so you also get better at that, but still it's, exactly. it's true. Common strength programs would have you working within the 85 to 100% one RM range. On heavy days. Yes, because you're very heavy days. Because you also have a lot of people that train for strength with like very low intensity days to practice the technique 
to get more neurological adaptations to be more effective. Now, of course, most of us probably want to get stronger and build muscle simultaneously. That's where a solid and balanced program comes in handy. Free 90 Day Challenge app that you can download right now. You can focus on strength, focus on building muscle, or choose both. Ultimately, there are notable differences in a physiological sense. And in training, it comes down to intensity versus volume. So can you be strong without having big muscles? Well, yes, a great example is Bruce Lee. He was not very big, but he was insanely strong. He still wanted to be fast with the punches and like not have a big frame with big muscles to slow him down. So yes, you can. Less muscle, more strength, your enemy will underestimate you. Ha ha ha. That's exactly what Bruce Lee did. Now that we know how the strength and size of muscles work, what should you do? Which routine should you pick? Let's listen to a doctor. Is your main goal strength? or is your main goal hypertrophy? Exactly. Because as you get more advanced, you will start to train a bit differently for those two goals. And you start to get more into powerlifting routines versus bodybuilding routine. In general, those that have strength as the main goal follow more of a powerlifting routine, and the lifts tend to be higher in intensity. These would be loads or weights that someone may only be able to lift one to five times. The rest period is typically longer with people resting about three minutes, sometimes even up to five minutes. And it makes sense, because you want to recover properly so you can go heavy again the next set. If you would only rest for a minute, you can't bring that intensity up. Interestingly enough, the rest times are actually coming a little bit closer because bodybuilders recently are actually resting a little bit longer, I feel like. But if you rest really short, then you get more of like that sargoplasmic yeah. response, like more like the pump. We actually also do both. Like we start with more of the high intensity work, longer rest periods, but then anti-workout with a bit more of pump work. Now, for those that are more concerned with hypertrophy, you start to follow more of a bodybuilding routine. Compound exercises are often a part of this routine, but they tend to do a greater amount of isolation movements than those that are more concerned purely with strength. Common rep numbers would be something they could lift eight to 15 times. There are routines that work for hypertrophy and bodybuilding that can have higher reps and even sometimes lower, but in general, that eight to 15 is a good place to start. Those are bodies behind you, aren't they? <laughs> exactly. The rest periods are often shorter from about 60 to 90 seconds. So isn't a bigger muscle a stronger muscle? Ooh. Well, in general, yes. But again, as you get more and more advanced, you start to see more of a divergence between strength-based routines versus hypertrophy-based routines. We don't exactly know all the reasons why this sarcoplasmic adaptation occurs, but we do see the differences between bodybuilders and the powerlifters. So hopefully more answers to come with further research in the future. This is actually the reason why a lot of bodybuilders, if they prep for a show and they want to look the best ever and they stop eating carbs and a lot less glycogen is stored in the muscle, they will actually be very flat or they will look a lot less big. And then when they start eating a lot more carbs, sugars, this is where they will fill up the muscle and they will look massive. Muscle training is sets, reps, and weight lifted. Strength is more weight, less reps. <laughs> Basically, but not really, because as we learned today, they are not really bubbles on themselves, but you will build both if you start training, but you can focus on one more than the other. And if you want to get stronger, make sure to lift heavy and challenge yourself a little bit lower rep range. If you want to build muscle, make sure to challenge yourself and do this in a little bit higher rep range. But it's gonna be hard to build just one. Make sure to also watch and subscribe to the creators below. They make great videos. Picture Fit and the Institute of Human Anatomy. Great channels. Another important part of your training is your diet. Actually, in the last video, this guy went completely vegan for 30 days straight to see if he could also make gains and hit his protein, but also if it is actually the best diet for you. Uh, to see the results, check this video right here. Subscribe, smash, link, and hit that bell. And download our app.